Well, it's been a debate that's raged on since the Sandy Hook shootings, you remember, more than a year ago. Should teachers be allowed to carry guns in the classroom? It's something that one local parent has called for at the Taconic Hills Board of Education meeting. And on the district's reaction to this, and clearly that is a, a controversial position to take. And Matt, what's their reaction? Well, Liz, uh, you know, of course, after Sandy Hook, it became a big debate here at the Capitol about gun control just a little bit over a year ago. Uh, this is a gun debate of a different kind, though. This is not a Second Amendment issue. It's a safety issue. Bill Kraus has three kids board the bus to Taconic Hills schools every day. He worries for their safety and says if teachers carried guns, they would be in better hands. You have no clue who's carrying when you're walking down the street. That's why it's concealed. They've done the law-abiding things to get their permit. Everything's in place. That's why they can do so. Why can't teachers be allowed the same thing? Krause's concern comes after a rumored threat fueled by social media a few months ago. The district says it was investigated by police agencies in Massachusetts and New York and found to be unsubstantiated. If you had a, a, a credible threat, you know, we'd always take actions to err on the side of our student safety and our faculty safety, our staff safety. Taconic Hills buildings are secured now by a buzzer at the door and cameras. You were on probably about seven or eight of them as you came into the building. They're in the parking lot and they're in strategic locations. We also have recently put in place uh, silent alarms. Plus, the district has marked some money for a school resource officer with the Columbia County Sheriff's Office it's hoping to have in the halls, and that officer could be armed. It's an investment school administrators are willing to make. Kraus believes it's not enough. Nice job, Al. Can you imagine a kindergarten teacher with an ankle holster and, the, and having kids crawl all over him or her and having it accidentally go off? It's, it's just a scenario that, that, would, that, that is not acceptable. When push comes to shove and things go bad, would you want to wait for backup? The nearest police department in that area is a couple of miles down Route 23 in Hillsdale. It's a satellite office of the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Mr. Krause says that he plans to go to the next school board meeting and hopes to present a petition to get this to a public vote. Reporting live now, Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.